two counts of aggravated assault by a public servant. These are first degree felonies. For the first time since the indictment of 19 Austin police officers over protester injuries during the 2020 George Floyd protests were announced last week. We're hearing from the lawyers of some of these officers. CBS Austin's Christian Flores is at APD headquarters with why these lawyers say their clients should not be under legal scrutiny. The two lawyers who represent eight of the indicted Austin police officers say their clients have each been charged with two counts of aggravated assault by a public servant. If convicted, they could serve decades in jail, a punishment their lawyers say is not fitting for officers just following orders. They're worried about their families. They're worried about their future. Doug O'Connell and Ken Irvin say last week was a punch in the gut to their clients. They represent eight of the 19 Austin police officers who have been charged for their role in the 2020 George Floyd protests when many protesters suffered severe injuries. But they say these officers are merely scapegoats and decision makers should be held responsible. The majority of our cases stem from when our clients were ordered to clear the I-35 bridge and remove protesters from the highway. The decision to impact these people with bean bags was ordered or otherwise authorized by the highest levels of APD command. These aren't a few rogue officers. Last week, Travis County District Attorney Jose Garza pointed to the severity of the injuries protesters suffered as to why he pursued these charges, which could land the officers five years to life in prison if convicted. Those injuries include significant and serious injuries to the head, face, and body. Some will never fully recover. Critics of the officer's actions say these indictments show progress. I think many of us were relieved to see something happen because the city had totally failed uh, to provide any accountability for officer conduct during the protests. At issue for O'Connell and Irvin is the beanbag rounds, which they say were defective and worsened the injuries as a result. Not all eight officers they represent actually fired beanbag guns, with three of them in supervisory roles. But because of what these officers faced, bottles filled with urine, exploding fireworks, Molotov cocktail before it was lit. They defend the use of this crowd control tactic. What do you say to critics who say that these officers shouldn't have, you know, fired these beanbag rounds, regardless of, you know, whether these were defective and caused, the, that was the reason they caused a serious injury? The use of the beanbags in this case uh, is entirely appropriate. It's consistent with not only training within the department, but within other law enforcement agencies across the country. O'Connell and Irvin say they expect Garza to release more details on these indictments on Tuesday, but they're also representing officers who have not been charged, but feel they are being pursued by Garza. So we can see more than 19 Austin police officers charged when this is all said and done. Reporting at APD headquarters, Christian Flores, CBS Austin News.